Hi everyone, it's Gigi. Welcome back. So today is Monday, so I'm going to do a Merry Monday and Crafting Christmas. So come along. I have here some doilies. And I want to show you what I made with these doilies. So this one is a really small doily. I thought I had an extra one over here to show you. Oops. And you put some glue there. So let's put a little bit of glue. But I want to show you what I was making with these doilies. So there we go. So I glue the doilies. So they look like butterfly wings. Um, this is the first one I made. I really like this. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to make with it. I had thought about making an angel. But I think her little head is too small for those big wings. And I couldn't find, well, I did find bigger beads, but they were like the opening, it was huge. I thought, I don't want it that big. So anyways, these here already have the face. They're from Park Lane, the wood doll heads. I think I got this at Joanne's. But when I went to Joanne's, I didn't see this particular style. I just saw plain blank ones. So I'm going to show you how I made the little wings. I have the white wings here. And they don't have to be white. You could use any color. Look what I did with this. This is Christmas um, doily. It's just a really big doily. So let me show you. So you want to start off with two. Okay, and you want to fold two of them at the same time. What I did was, let's see, this here, the two roses here, this here, the two roses there. Maybe I could have done it this way. Hmm, maybe I could. Maybe I'll do it this way and see how it turns out. So are you guys ready? The reason I say you want two is because... You want them to be folded the same so you'll fold two at a time. So I just, I don't know, what is that? A quarter of an inch, possibly. So I just fold. And I'm just doing like an accordion fold. So I go back and forth. I hope everyone's doing well. My youngest was with me. We were gonna make a video together, but oh my gosh, so many other things came upon us. We got really busy. So I'm just, like I said, going back and forth. And I just, to me, the easiest way is do this. Do it this way, I should say. I, um, we used to make flowers this way, but we used uh, tissue paper Kleenex. I don't know if anyone ever made them. And they're beautiful when you make them. We made them for weddings and everything. So here we go. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. So this is folded up also like this. This might be a little bit wider, but it's okay. So now I'm going to just go across. So I crease it, I'm going to open it, and then I'm going to separate them. Let's see, I know I had to. <laughs> see, this side is a little bit bigger, but it's okay. Here we go. So now I separate them. So see, these two... These two are the same. So I, what I did was when I scrunched them up to glue them together, I hope you can see that and it's not too dark here because it's already um, like four or five, I believe. It's 5.28, good evening. Good evening to you too, 5.28. So what I did was I put the opposite, one fat, the opposite of what I folded. They were 
I pulled them apart this way, so then I just turned it over. I don't think it really matters. Um, I just did it that way. So what I wanna do is put both of them together. So here we go. And see now it makes like butterfly wings, but they can also be angel wings. Who says they just have to be butterfly wings? So I'm going to get my glue Put it right in the middle and as you saw it didn't glue everything together but you can always come back and add a little bit of glue like in between the folds okay so now this is going to go this way or do i want it this way no i'm gonna go this way okay so now I have this, I'm going to get this here so I can fold it, fold it together like this or hold it together. So there you go, see? So we're gonna let that dry. In the meantime, this is the one that I made earlier and you saw that I put a little bit more glue on there. So what I did was I got a cute little face. I'm going to get, I think I just kind of guessed on this. I think I said like 20 inches. It doesn't have to be that long. It could be shorter. It's up to you. But I think I went with just 20. So then I cut that like this. Okay. And I'm going to show you what I want to do. Uh-oh. What did I do with it? Here it is. So this is uh, when I made jewelry. This is a wire that I used. So you could use any wire. The reason I'm using a wire is because I'm gonna thread this through here. And to try to do it this way, which I can show you, watch it work. It didn't work. I couldn't get it all the way through. Maybe if I do it this way, because I do want this on top. Yes, see it won't go through. So my thought is this. So I'm gonna loop that there. I'm gonna put this like this, okay? See that? So now I'm just going to go like this, pull it through. There it is so this comes off like this so now that I pulled it through I can even it out not even it's up to you and this might be a little too long for that so I'm just going to maybe this way and what I did was I made a knot okay I made a knot and pulled it through. And you're probably thinking, why are you just doing it that way? I'll explain to you why. So there it is, there's my knot, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on here. My youngest actually went to a pumpkin patch on her way back home. So she just texted me and told me they were going in. There was like um, kind of a carnival type thing. So she's excited. So I'm going to leave this like this. I'm going to let it dry. Then I will come back and most likely cut this piece off. The reason I did that is because I kind of like that it looked like she had a little bow on her neck. Okay, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to let this part dry. In the meantime, while this is drying, I want to take this piece. This piece, like I said, I had wanted to put this little head. I just think it's too small, don't you think? Let me know in the comments. So, here's my other thought. 
I'm gonna save this, I think, for this. Here's my other thought. So I have a Santa Claus here. I have this piece of um, lace that I cut up. It's a circle. And then I cut this red circle and it actually came out of this, the uh, paper doilies. See? You could use cardstock, you could use whatever you like. So my thought is I'm going to set this down here and you could use um, hot glue. I didn't, I didn't um, plug mine. So I'm just using this and I'm just going to plop that there in the middle. Oh, what I did forget to tell you is before I did take some vintage photo. And I can take it off really quick to show you and just went around it a little bit just to give it a little bit of a vintage look. It's not necessary, so I really didn't have to pull that out, but I just thought I would. So there I go. I put glue again and I'm going to glue this there. So there's the circle, so it's going to be that way. And then I have this, and this also, if you wanted to, you can just put, You didn't. I didn't copy stain it, but if you wanted to make it look a little bit more vintage, that's what you do. Same with dear old Santa. Make him look a little bit vintage. Okay. And then I'm going to place that there. And you don't have to put a doily. You could leave it the way it is. But I decided that I wanted to put this doily here. I'm just gonna go like that. And then Santa's gonna go right there. So I'm using this. And this I think came out of a um, Christmas card. But they have these very similar maybe almost exactly the same at Hobby Lobby. And remember, everything there is half price right now for Christmas. So, I think I'll do that. What do you think? Isn't that cute? But now, two things. I had tied this this way, and I'm gonna cut this off, but to hang it as an ornament, if you wanna hang it as an ornament, I had thought maybe using like one of these wires in the back. So just really thin. So I could do that. I could use any kind of wire. I might just use this so we could see how this works. Yeah, because you don't want something really big. Well, at least I don't. But if you do, go for it. So I'm going to cut this little piece off here. And if you need me to measure it, which I don't measure, eh, almost five inches, not quite. I would do this. Okay, this might be better with the glue gun and then put it here. And But I'm going to use my fabric tack. And since I do have that string there, I might just reinforce it with it. I'll explain what I mean. So I'm going to set it down. I'm going to wrap this piece this way. And it might not work. My genius idea might not work. Let me see. What if I wrap it this way to tighten it? All right, everyone, just stay calm. So I might do that. Okay, so now I have my wire there. And this is kind of a flimsy wire because, like I said, it's for jewelry. I would actually get a little piece of uh, cardboard and put it back here so it could stay put. I'll tell you right now doesn't want to stay put because it's twisty. So this might not work, but 
but bear with me. We're gonna try, we're gonna try. I think what I might do, get a little piece of this cardboard here. And get a little piece of this cardboard. I wish I had red cardstock. I know I do, but I'm not sure where it's at. Okay. So I'm still gonna leave that there. It looks like it will stay. So there's more right there. I can probably cut this a little bit smaller. I hope that's small but big enough. And then cut this like this. So I want to tell you I um, have some new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the new comments. Um, I did say I might be doing a little surprise giveaway. I have to go check on some YouTubes because I've watched them. I just have not been able to um, comment on them. And I do like commenting as much as I can. There you go. So that's gonna hold that. So now we have him here. But this is cute the way it is. I think so. But you can add more to it. And let me tell you what I'm talking about. So I bought this at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. I wanna say it was last year. Or was it this year? I can't keep track. I get myself in too much trouble. So I'm gonna pull this out. It's beautiful. Look at this doily. It's beautiful, and it was only a dollar twenty-four or something like that. But this is what I'm going to do. Hmm, it's got a little boo-boo here. It's okay. My thought was, and I'm gonna move this over a little bit. I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do. These aren't the best scissors, but I'm just gonna cut this really quickly. See this? I probably should have put it under. Yeah, I should have. This is not going to work. Let me see if I cut it smaller. Well, now I know that I... My thought was to put this underneath here, but it might not work. Oh, maybe it will if I lift it up a little bit. Santa Claus doesn't need wings. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this part off. Okay. I thought I could just glue this underneath here. What do you think? What do y'all think? Do I add it? Is it too much? Is it too white? Is it too white? I'm going to leave it like this and I'm gonna wait and see what everyone comments. I, I appreciate it, like I said, your comment. And why is this? Oh, thanks Santa. You didn't stay on there, did you? Well, here we go. Let me add in, let him dry up. Get, didn't have enough. Here's my thing. Here's this. I'm just going to leave them like that. And put this here. Tell me in the comments what you think. So here's this one. I'm going to let it dry. Oh, I know what I thought about this one. So Target, I think it was last year or the year before, had these wood tags. And I thought, since this is Santa, this would be super cute if I could put this hanging on the bottom. So I'm going to do that. So here's my thought. I want this knot here. I don't think I want it double. What do you think? Should I leave it double? I could leave it double, right? 
If I do that, I can always do it like this. So I might just add it there. Or I can add it here. I might add it here. Let's do this. I had thought of using just a single strand. I was going to cut it off and just use a single strand, but I think I like this idea. Let's do this. And you can always cover the back if you don't like, like the way my little red piece is there, you can always cover it. You can put something over it to make it more professional. This is going to most likely hang or go on a tree, so I don't think I need it that fancy. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about. Look how cute. So that says believe. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I would actually this put a little bit more on here to make it look more vintagey. If you want it vintagey, yes, I understand this is not vintagey, it's white. But like I said, let me know in the comments what I should do with that. But this is this piece. I think it's cute. It's simple, it's cute. But let me go back now to my little angel. And, oh, you're still wet. I felt you, I felt you. My thought of my little angel is to put her little head here. Let's see, where do I want you? Do I want you here? No, I want you here. So I'm gonna glue her little head there. I'm gonna put quite a bit. Like I said, the um, glue gun might be much better. So I'm just going to put her little head here. The one thing I forgot to get, oh, and I don't know where they're at. I put a little um, angel halo on her. So this is going to have to dry for a while. Let's see if this can, if I can get this to dry. I don't want to take too much time, but I'm going to set her there. I set her down because I was thinking of putting this here. Maybe I don't need those little things. What do you think? Should I do that? If I do that, I think she needs a little flower or bow, but this flower is too big. Don't you think that would be cute like this? If I do this, that looks like it's missing something. What if I do this? What do you think? Should I try it? Let's try it. What do I have to lose? Glue? Okay. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to glue this on this side. How cute is she? How cute is she? This wing might be just a little higher. This is um, Crafty Me, Crafty Me Shop Lace. Definitely have to wait for her to dry right there. And then I might just put that like that and maybe put a little sequence or a little rhinestone or something of some kind. There. What do you think, everyone? I'm sorry about the mess. I hope you guys love this. I really love this. Oh, what if what if I put this here? I could. Oh my gosh, I'm getting all oh, I could. I think she needs a little 
she needs a little ribbon or something there. I think I'm gonna set this here. You don't have to add anything. You you could put a little uh, stone there. You could do just about anything. But I just thought this might be cute right there. Just believe. So there you go. I'm gonna move this a little bit. And I'm going to reposition her head in a little bit. But I think these are adorable. This is going to be my little angel. I'm going to put a little um, chenille stem coming out of her little head. So she looks like she's got her little halo. And then I'm going to put this here. I'll show you all when I'm done. So you can come check it out and let me know what you think. I probably will do it when I upload this and put a picture. So let me know what you think. I really appreciate everyone's help. Let me know what you think if I should leave this here. Should I leave that here? Should I take them off? Do you think it's too dorky? He looks like he's flying or something. Maybe I don't have to leave them there, but I do like this here. So anyways, thank you everyone. Thank you for stopping by and I'm sure I will be seeing you soon. Have a great evening.